Hello, welcome to Access and our rundown of the top 10 single-player story games on PS4. You can't beat it, can you? Settling down in your favourite gaming chair, headphones on, snacks within reach, goodbye outside world, hello wonderfully immersive single-player story. I love being swept away on that narrative tide. The magic feeling you get when a game is so riveting you just can't put it down. When every new area and every fresh story beat is a thrilling surprise. Here are 10 of our personal favourites. We've limited ourselves to one game per series and the list is in no particular order. There are so many amazing games to choose from we can't possibly list them all, so please do let us know your own choices in the comments. Our first entry is Marvel's Spider-Man, a game that unsurprisingly nailed the feeling of swinging and plunging across an open world New York as everyone's favourite superhero. What we didn't realise before playing, however, was how engrossed we'd become in Peter Parker's story. Insomniac delivered a thrilling narrative full of cinematic set pieces, but also one beating with warmth and humanity. Some of my favourite moments from the game don't involve webs and skyscrapers at all, and are more about the person underneath the suit. Light touches of humour between Peter and MJ, the intriguing relationship between Peter and his mentor, Dr Octavius, the bond he shares with Aunt May, and the emergence of young Miles Morales. You will laugh and you will probably cry playing Marvel Spider-Man. Honestly, I found it to be one of my favourite Spider-Man stories ever. The emotional investment ensuring that when you do get round to thumping bad guys and tying helicopters in knots, and you will, the payoff is all the more satisfying. Writing your memoirs? Don't forget the hyphen between Spider and Man. The Last Guardian is our next entry, a game that continues the tradition laid down by its spiritual predecessors of making you emotionally invested, often to the point of tears, in a relationship between two central characters. We've had Eco and Yorda, Wanda and Agro, and now it's Boy and Trico, a pair that share an unspoken bond as they journey together through a beautiful ruined castle. This is video game storytelling like you've never seen it. The Last Guardian spins its tail in the rocks and the ancient architecture of this long forgotten place, and also in the body of Trico. You can see the animal's every emotion in its eyes, hear the fear in its quavering voice, feel its uncertainty in every tentative movement of its limbs. You'll feel the bond between this pair without a word being spoken. This is a story you play play rather than one you're told, and it really is a gaming experience like no other. <laughs> Our next game is The Last of Us Remastered, Naughty Dog's emotionally taut, exhaustingly tense character drama. Using their experience of performance capture and storytelling gained on the Uncharted series, Naughty Dog here brought a new level of expertise and commitment to gaming narrative, devising a world of danger and desolation in order to frame the central relationship between broken father Joel and his vulnerable young companion Ellie. Lean gameplay that lurches between tight-chested stealth and sudden bursts of brutal action complements the game's character and story work perfectly, as does the beautifully repulsive design of the infected, bodies flayed by invasive fungus, humanity returning to the Earth and trying to take you with it. It's no exaggeration to say The Last of Us set new standards in storytelling and changed the kind of quality that players expected and developers realised they could aspire to. And look, 
Fine, let's just roll straight into what Naughty Dog did next, which was Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. As a sit down and soak it up single player experience, it's hard to think of one that tops Uncharted 4. It is designed to immerse, to wow, to charm and entertain. It has all the feel good laughs and light touch likability of its PS3 forebears, and it cranks up the gorgeous scenery to new levels thanks to the power of PS4. But post Last of Us, there's also a new depth to the characters and a looming end of era sense of danger to this final adventure. Uncharted 4 is the complete package. Obscene action, outstanding visuals, considered storytelling and, somehow, the same old Nathan Drake. Sully? You know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> Let's change pace for a moment with one of our favourite games on PS4. Everybody's Gone to the Rapture really does feel like it was made just for us. A mournful, narrative-based mystery set in the English countryside of the catastrophe-braced 1980s. Part of the joy is walking through the wonderfully observed village of Yorton, the pub, the town hall, the other pub, the sense that everyone knows one another in a world that's somehow smaller than ours is now. And then then there's the mystery itself, a John Wyndham style story of disaster happening in tiny human spaces, a mix of credible science fiction with number stations and Cold War paranoia. Traces of those who lived in Yorton come through audio echoes of their final interactions, which mix and swirl with the game's transportive pastoral soundtrack to create wonderfully human moments of regret, anger and acceptance. There's nothing else like it on PS4, and we will love it forever. The answers... They're all here. The answers are in the light. Get past the daunting reputation, and Bloodborne is still one of the most intensely rewarding games on PlayStation 4. Sticking close to the Dark Souls formula that brought them international recognition, from software shift from classic fantasy dungeons to Bloodborne's Lovecraftian gothic abyss, creating another mysterious broken world steeped in blood-thick atmosphere and packed with creatures of fiendishly unsettling design. The game isn't anything as boring as simply hard. Instead, it demands your attention, making the most common encounters deadly if your guard is down and, in a brilliantly captured spirit of Lovecraftianism, making it genuinely difficult to progress because of the horror at what you might discover. There are few games so rich in design, structure and story. Make sure you give Bloodborne a go. Turn back, for the hunter will face the hunter. The problem with Horizon Zero Dawn is that it's so good at so many things that we genuinely struggled to figure out which of our top 10 lists it should appear on. Spoiler, it'll be more than one. We couldn't leave it off here because, unlike some games that nail the open world experience or feature extraordinary moment-to-moment -moment combat, Horizon Zero Dawn does all this and also offers a first-rate story. Our hero Aloy lives on a future Earth dominated by machine creatures, with human civilization limited to tribes of superstitious hunter-gatherers, until, that is, a compelling original science fiction mystery comes along to explain the state of the world. Aloy is terrific fun to be and be with, capable and calm, intelligent and rational, and the game's machine-hunting combat mechanics are sophisticated, physics-based and, at times, scarcely believable. The result is a game that screams with quality on so many different levels, all of which mesh together to form one of the most fulfilling solo campaigns on PS4. Hey! Next, we have Detroit Become Human. We were never going to get through this list without mentioning at least one game from Quantic Dream, the French studio that's developed a unique style of interactive cinematic narrative game design. And Detroit is their latest and best, a near future story of android emancipation told through three interlinking perspectives. Connor, a police investigator who hunts down other androids, Marcus, the leader of the android uprising, and Kara, a 
housekeeper android gaining consciousness. As with other Quantic Dream titles, Detroit is visually extraordinary and the multi-threaded narrative offers dozens of possibilities as well as plenty of danger, as any and all of the three characters can die at several points. The game's focus on story and presentation also make it the perfect showcase for its performers, who all imbue their synthetic characters with a beautifully human range of deft, well-observed emotions. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. When you think of getting lost in a story, few video games in history can match the timeless classic that is Final Fantasy VII. So it comes as no surprise that Final Fantasy VII Remake, a glorious PS4 reimagining of one of the greatest games ever made, has its narrative hooks in you before Cloud's ATB gauge has even filled. You could argue Final Fantasy VII's epic tale resonates even more today than it did in 1997, following a heroic band of eco-warriors defending the planet from an evil corporation profiteering from bleeding its natural resources dry. But the real reason we love Final Fantasy VII Remake so much is a simple one really. The characters are fantastic, brought to life in breathtaking detail by wonderful animation, sharp writing and top-class voice acting. These are characters and places that existed largely in our imagination 23 years ago, our minds filling in the blanks left by text boxes and pre-rendered backdrops, the same way you do with characters in a novel. And now, here they are, two decades later, perfectly fleshed out. If you loved the original Final Fantasy VII, Remake will knock your socks off. And if this is your first FF experience, I sort of envy the dazzling adventure on which you're about to be swept away. This game truly is one to savour. You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do! Get help. <laughs> Here in PlayStation Land, we've been absolutely spoiled this generation with big-name story-driven blockbusters that rock up and just absolutely deliver. God of War is a prominent name on this list, a prodigal son returning after a serious and much-needed makeover. While the God of War games have always been brilliantly slick and playable action titles, in this post-Last of Us world, that's just not enough. Kratos needed depth, a plausible story, and a reason for us to side with him other than that he's super angry and great at chopping people up. The new God of War delivers, relocating the demigod to a new Norse setting and smartly making the story about Kratos coming to terms with the kind of one-dimensional character he used to be and urging his young son to avoid taking a similar path. None of which means the action and chopping have gone anywhere, when necessary Kratos can still get really nasty really fast, and the combat system here is as intricate and rewarding as anything the series has offered, but now it's part of a richer world and a deeper story. Father, will we see others on the road? Yes. Friendly? No. They'll try and rob us? Possibly. Yes. So there you have it, our pick for the top 10 single-player story games on PS4. Do you agree, or have any others you'd like to add? Let us know in the comments, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and click that notification bell to stay up to date with everything from the world of PlayStation. For the players.